Hi everyone and welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2023 February March document production part. So first of all we should check if we have all the given files. So I have them here on the desktop in my folder called paper 2 they are here then after I have to check if every file is here yeah it is there we'll start with task 1 evidence so as they mentioned here that you have to open the file n22 23 evidence dot rtf so to make sure that your name and center number candidate number will appear on every page of this document and then you need to save it with m23 evidence and then your candidate number so i will go to the file here evidence will insert here our details such as my name then my center number okay and then my candidate number and we'll close this one and i need to save this one as with the candidate number as as my document word document so it's done now moving forward to the next step it says task to documents you are going to produce a report for Tawara education about stem subjects the company uses a corporate house style for all their documents paragraph styles must be created and applied as instructed the body text has already been applied to the whole document you must not amend this style so using the suitable software open the file m23 stem we'll go to the file m23 stem and next step is to the page setup is set up for a four landscape orientation with two centimeter margins do not make any changes to these settings so let's go and cross check only if it is done yes and its landscape paper size is a4 that's perfect now you need to save this document with the name called stem news so we'll just simply click on file save this one as on the desktop in the folder with the name as they mention stem news and the file is created now you need to have the evidence and screenshot to show this file has been saved so we just go to the folder so the file is saved here this is the one with complete information so we just need to crop this one and place it into our evidence document as evidence one yeah next step is to place in the footer of the stem news document automated page number left align your name center number candidate number right align so let's go here insert a footer here now on the left side they want automated page number so I always prefer to use page number one of the total and then I will include here my name center number and my candidate number and we'll remove this one as we don't need this one as they mentioned here right now we need to check to make sure all the elements match the page margins 
so yes they do match the page margins and then after no other text is included so there's no other text included in the footer and then the footer is displayed on all the pages so just cross check if it is displayed yes it is now we need to create and store the following style basing each on the default or normal paragraph style so we just simply need to create the style first with the name called st subhead so let me just stay here and include a style with the name as they mention we'll modify that style based on normal okay and then i will follow the specification it should be sans serif and 14 point sans serif means arial the best example and then 14 size should be center align and then it should be all capital and bold so bold and format font and all caps and then there should be only single line spacing and after spacing is nine points so paragraph single line spacing and it should be 9 pt means nine point okay okay the style is created then we need to create a style with the name called st table so we will create a style with the name called st table then it should be based on normal and we need to check it need serif font which is times new roman and then it should be 11 points as they mentioned here should be left align so left it's only italic so italic and format go to font and uncheck this one we don't want capital and there is no line spacing before and after and that's it that's your table style now we need to create for the bullets as well st bullets so just select this one copy and create a style with the name as they mentioned based on normal then it should be again arial oh sorry serif font means times new roman and then it should be 11 point left align format font unchecked yes it is unchecked and numbering it should be starting with a square and then there is no line spacing before and after so there is nothing click ok ok the style is created and now what we need to do is we need to take a screenshot of the file st subheading and place it in your evidence document so right click modify and we take the screenshot of it just like that and then we include it into our evidence document as evidence 2 moving forward we need to display the style names created in step 3 as a list in the style manager organizer so we simply need to click here to get all the styles S screenshot now again and include this one as your evidence into evidence document as evidence 3 <coughs> sorry now moving forward we need to check the style st title has already been created and stored so we need to modify it according to these specifications so let's go to the document here now we have the st title right click modify first go to the font and check if it is all capitalized 
uncapitalize it and then follow the steps it should be sans serif and 36 point sans serif means aerial and then 36 points it should be bold center align and underline as well and then it should be single line spacing no spacing before and after single line spacing no space before and after before click on ok you need to take a screenshot or we just click ok and then follow the instruction as they said we need to apply this title uh, style to the text called Tawara School STEM development so let's go to the top select this one and apply the style now right click and modify it to take the screenshot as well to include it into our evidence document for step number five we just include it here and then we'll move forward below the title add a subtitle called innovations in science education so we'll go there just at the top of this here and then what we need to do is we need to apply the st subtitle style to it so select this one and apply the subtitle style to it so if you are not getting here the list just click here and apply like this close the style manager now and then you need to click on apply the st bullet style to the text from <coughs> sorry working in teams to developing on solutions so let's scroll down select this one and apply the style as they mention bulleted style and then identify the seventh subheading in the document and apply the st subhead style to each one so let's identify them that's number one it's number two it's number three here is number four five six and then we have seven so subhead style is applied then we need to change the layout of all the document starting from why is a stem approach to learning important into two equally spaced column with a one centimeter space between them so starting from this point onward we need to click on layout more columns change into two columns with a one centimeter space between them just like that and then we need to locate the table and insert a new row about chemistry so here is the chemistry row right click insert row above and we just type here biology and then it should be 50 and then it should be 40 as they mention merge the cells and center align the text in the first row of the table so means select them all then right click merge them and center align them what we need to do is we need to apply st table style to row nine, 2 to 9 so from 2 till 9 st table style should be applied and then we need to check to make sure no data is wrapped within the table so there is no data wrapping not data is written in the two lines in the same cell then it should be all grid lines displayed yes you can see the grid lines around and then after all the borders should fit in the width of the column so you can just simply move this little bit here 
and then after there is a six point space after the table so it is very simple just click here right click on this and then paragraph style and include before this paragraph a six point so there will be space after the table and before this one here six points moving forward to the next step we need to import the image called m23 scientist and we need to place it at the beginning of the paragraph called will the gender this parity so here it is just insert a picture from your folder m scientist and then that should, picture should be reflected so the flask is on the right side so simple right click format picture 3d rotation and move this to 180 and then what you need to do is you need to resize height of 2 cm with the aspect ratio click here and just the height of the picture should be 2 cm and then there should be a text wrap and it should be with align with the paragraph start with will the gender disparity so click here square and now keep on moving this so that you can get these green lines so you can see the picture is aligned to the left top of the paragraph starting with the will the gender disparity moving forward to proof check and spell check your document so spell checking should be done so in this case review spell check ignore 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 spell check is done and then there is no widow and orphans just check if half of the paragraph is in one page and half in other no that's not the case and then no blank pages so we do have a blank page here so home click on this option and remove the blank pages so just like that and then check the style consistency is applied and that's it i guess click here and save the document with the name called as they mentioned you just need to click on save and then you need to print the document so that's all from the document part of this question paper hope you have learned about how to format how to create styles and deal with the documentation part of this question paper so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates